Thank you very much all for coming to hear the uh, talk on, uh, on Sol Gold. Inevitably, I'm going to be uh, referring to our major project, Alpala, uh, quite a lot, where we have this morning announced a doubling of the resource size, now up to 23.2 million ounces of gold and 10.9 million tonnes of copper in uh, one of the world's most important uh, copper gold porphyry discoveries in uh, northern Ecuador. Um, this opening picture here uh, is testimony to the uh, fantastic effort from our geological team. Uh, we have 450 uh, staff in uh, Sol Gold, 97% of them are Ecuadorian, and I'm pleased to say that around about a third of the geologists are uh, female. Um, they're fantastically observant, and that's uh, helping us deliver uh, fast and accurate results for uh, the Alpala project and for uh, Sol Gold. So I have to refer to this, read it quickly and absorb it. I'll test you later. Um, I'm going to uh, uh, tell you about how we are turning Sol Gold into an emerging copper gold uh, major. We, uh, we have our uh, flagship project, Alpala, uh, and we're looking over the rest of Ecuador. Uh, we secured a first mover advantage there four years ago and selected 72 other licenses over 11 other uh, copper gold porphyry projects and this gives us the opportunity to secure uh, the same sort of copper provinces you see in northern Chile which covers about 25% of the, the world's copper resources. We have uh, our two great uh, shareholders in, uh, where we have we have around about 3,000 great shareholders, they're, they're all great but the endorsement that comes from Newcrest and BHP um, uh, latterly the, the world's largest mining company, and I'm proud to say Australian, um, is uh, again testimony to the, uh, the quality of this project and the company's uh, management team. We are in a preliminary economic assessment for the Alpala project at the moment. We are hoping to get uh, the initial uh, report on that out in Q1 uh, next year and the 43101 report in early uh, January for the uh, resource statement that um, uh, that came out today. So um, our, our strategy is to continue to strengthen our, our shareholder base. We'll be uh, looking for um, more large funds, more corporates with the capability of uh, investing the necessary equity funds to facilitate the development of this uh, exciting project and we'll be augmenting our board and uh, management team with the necessary skills to uh, deliver that project as rapidly as possible. Something that's overlooked with uh, the development of a lot of projects around the world at the moment, um, but we're, we're pleased to say we're not, we're not following this path, is um, looking after your local community. And we put a lot of effort into looking after the Ecuadorian stakeholders at uh, federal, provincial and local community levels. The greatest legacy that we can leave Ecuador is uh, education, so we put a lot of effort into uh, training our workforce, um, involving them and uh, uh, rewarding them. At Alpala, we're focusing on the PEA. We'll be defining more high-grade ore there uh, and uh, looking for uh, quick value-add gold projects in the rest of the uh, regional projects. And we're having some early field success there and uh, awaiting drilling permits to get on with, uh, with that. Hmm. Interesting. Don't seem to be able to advance. There we are, corporate snapshot. Uh, we have uh, just over 1.8 billion shares on issue. Current share price about 38p, 104 million US cash in the bank, which will see us through uh, around about the next 18 months of uh, pre-feasibility studies, uh, further resource upgrades. You can see Newcrest and BHP there. Uh, as strong shareholders. Importantly, neither of them uh, control the company. They're not allowed to collude. Uh, BHP has a standstill with certain conditions on it. And um, uh, that's helping to demonstrate to the market that they're there to help rather than uh, to monster us. Um, uh, the, uh, the board there, uh, Brian and I have been working together for a long time. Uh, John Bovard is unfortunately retiring. He's uh, now 77 and um, had a, uh, enough of his uh, stint. And uh, Rob Weinberg in London, James Clare in Canada, and importantly Craig Jones, uh, head of uh, the Newcrest 
underground development block caving push and the skills that uh, Craig brings to uh, the board are very, very valuable indeed. From a management point of view, this program is designed by Steve Garwin, ex-Newmont, a real expert in porphyry exploration. Uh, the framework to deliver the results is set up by Jason Maud, the in-country manager and exploration manager. Ben Whistler, the technical services manager, manages the collection of all of the data and the manipulation of it into the necessary models to show what we've got. Santiago Varca, outstanding chief geologist on site, and Eduardo Valenzuela is managing the PEA. We left the Solomon Islands and went to the world's uh, greatest porphyry copper gold uh, theatre in the Andean copper belt uh, and to Ecuador because it was particularly unexplored and we see the potential, as I mentioned before, to define around about the same sort of copper in Ecuador in our other exploration licences as you see in northern Chile, around about 25% of the world's copper resources. Importantly, it's a highly oxidised environment, which means that the ore bodies are big uh, and they're rich. We can uh, see them now with advanced geophysics, uh, whereas in Chile there's been a lot more found just by looking at them from space. So we believe that these two very important mineralised belts, the Eocene and Miocene belts, have the potential to deliver for us in Ecuador the same sorts of things that they deliver in northern Chile, like Escondida, Chuqui, Camada, um, uh, El Abra, those sorts of ore bodies, and um, that's very much a, uh, a tier one uh, project. Ecuador is a great place to work. The government there is improving the, um, the regulatory and the fiscal regime. Taxes are coming down. Um, they're very uh, uh, happy with what we're doing at Alpala, uh, and they can see what we're going to do in terms of uh, adding jobs, increasing GDP, and uh, providing um, a big contribution to their tax base. So uh, a lot of support from the Ecuadorian government for both the industry and uh, Sol Gold more specifically. I mentioned that we have uh, BHP and Newcrest on our uh, share register, uh, but of course there's also Lundin Gold there developing the very high grade Fruta del Norte project in the, uh, the southern part of the country. Uh, we have Hancock prospecting all around our southern border and Cadelco on the west. Um, there's a lot of uh, neurology that is again endorsing the quality of this project and the prospectivity of northern Ecuador. We hold 85% of the project holding company ENSA, Exploraciones Nova Mining SA, uh, and uh, the junior partner Cornerstone will have to contribute at least 10% or uh, dilute to a 0.5% uh, net smelter return which we can buy for uh, three and a half million dollars. So we're happy with our position um, in this project and the, uh, the holding company. This project's big, it's rich, it's getting bigger, it's getting richer. If that wasn't enough, we're also blessed with some spectacular logistic advantages that the high and dry Chilean uh, project developers don't enjoy. We have nearby power, we have water, we have a sealed highway, we have access uh, to ports. We are three hours from an international airport. Um, and a, and a labour supply, and we don't need oxygen breathing stations to survive up there. So all of this amounts to several billion dollars in capex savings when we get around to um, inevitably developing this project. So it's beautifully located, uh, and that's helping to improve its value. We have a blueprint for the discovery of these things. We start with airborne magnetics, we go to geochemistry, we look for manganese holes, uh, molybdenum highs and high copper zinc ratios, that tells us where the, uh, the fertile and pregnant porphyries are, lots of copper in them uh, and well zoned. Uh, we drill them with a man portable drilling rig and that uh, demonstrates that we have uh, some of the most impressive porphyry copper gold exploration results in, uh, in history. And uh, we're in the company of things like Oyo Tolgai, Grassberg, Cadia, um, uh, Los Sulfatos, uh, these sorts of ore bodies are um, uh, breakfast table names in, um, in porphyry mining. So uh, we have just put out the new uh, resource uh, uh, statement. There's um, a total of 23.2 uh, million ounces of gold and 10.94 million tonnes of uh, copper in there. Uh, do your maths, that's around about $100 billion worth of uh, copper and gold in the ground. It's getting bigger. This is one of 12 projects 
that we have and the other 11 we have 100% of. So we're building a major company here. Uh, we're not just building uh, one prospect. Uh, there's the resource table in some detail. You can uh, come and talk to us at our stand at A6. Um, there's plenty of us there. Uh, and if, if I'm busy, you'll certainly be well attended to by uh, everybody else that we, uh, we have with us, Brian Moller, the chairman, um, uh, Anna Legg and uh, Eliza, Michael and Sophie Fuller will um, help look after you. So um, this is what the ore body looks like at the moment. You can see there's a lot more drilling we can do here. Those horizontal red lines outline the polygons where we see that there's still exploration upside. Um, it's uh, something that's eminently suited to block caving. The ore's highly fractured, it'll cave well. Um, it's uh, because of its alteration state, it's going to mill uh, quite easily, crush and mill quite easily. Uh, and we're looking forward to the results from the PEA in uh, Q1 next year to demonstrate uh, an outstandingly economic project. Um, the real uh, reason for this is the high grade core. Um, that uh, grade on the right hand side there is not a typographical error. Um, there's plenty of that stuff and this is what's going to facilitate very quick uh, capital repay, uh, payback rather when we get around to developing this project. So we'll start uh, in the high grade, uh, we'll ramp up into uh, the uh, medium grade and then the lower grade uh, or uh, after the capital's paid back block caving operation, high volumes uh, and low OPEX. So um, we're looking at a conceptual uh, decline development here, underground block caving um, operation. This is continually evolving. We are currently acquiring the land um, over the, uh, uh, the, the cave footprint, um, land for the tailing dam, land for the, um, for the uh, development uh, footprint. And that's um, uh, something that uh, quite a lot of companies leave till the end. Uh, we're trying to get everything done uh, in parallel here. If that's not enough, we have four other subsidiaries that are geographically stationed throughout Ecuador. Um, Carnegie Ridge in the, the north and Vale Rico, uh, Cruz del Sol and Green Rock uh, as you go down south through the country. Eleven other major projects, um, they cover uh, the Eocene, the Miocene, and also the Jura Southern Jurassic uh, porphyry belt. So we've got a sweet, fantastic coverage here. Um, there's epithermal gold projects at Blanca, just eight kilometres northwest of uh, Al Palo, which we believe will provide a fantastic early and very economic boost to uh, the development of Al Palo. Uh, Rio Amarillo uh, is a combined epithermal gold and porphyry project, and in the south, uh, La Huecas Target 6, uh, Cisne Victoria uh, and Port Venia are loaded with copper and they outcrop over some very large footprints up to four square kilometres. Um, they look better at surface than Alpala did and we're itching to drill them. So uh, we have a very sustainable approach. We like to look after our community here. We focus on health and safety. Um, uh, the worst injury that we've had so far on site touch wood is a, a badly cut finger from a driller. Um, we have uh, a small hospital there which we've never really had to use properly but we're, we're prepared and ready. And uh, uh, we focus on water quality and, uh, and uh, reforestation issues from the ground that we disturb. So uh, here's some um, photographs from some of our uh, uh, safety and um, community uh, project initiatives and uh, here uh, is a summary for you. Basically we're building uh, a major copper gold uh, company on one of the richest, most underexplored porphyry copper gold terrains uh, in the world on the world's richest province and that's uh, the Andean Copper Belt. Um, its history is well known, it's got a fantastic track record. We were lucky enough to stumble on a four-year first mover advantage, uh, which provided the basis for the construction of Solgold. Thank you very much.